What's up, boxing bros and bro S? It's a bro hammer here, man. I ain't made a video in a while, but today is the day that I make my triumphant return. Um, just got done working out, hitting some chesticles. Michael Jackson shirt already. You know I got to represent. But uh, anyway, man, um, big news today in the world of boxing. HBO has bowed out of boxing. They done. <clears throat> um, they released a statement today. It was uh, in USA Today. That's uh, that's as legit as it gets when it comes to news. That um, they will no longer be showing boxing in 2019. Um, if anybody with half of a working brain that's been following boxing saw this coming years ago excuse me for talking so i'm just gathering my thoughts um i'll say in my opinion it's all started in uh 2013 when floyd mayweather left hbo that was you know that was the initial the initial uh blow kind of got everything rolling the ball rolling um and then the uh the death stroke in my opinion was when uh, Top Rank and Bob Arum said to hell with HBO. I'm going over to ESPN and uh, taking all my fighters with me. Lomachenko, Manny Pacquiao, um, his whole stable. So all HBO really had left was um, Kovalev, Triple G, Andre Ward before he retired. Um, and they did him dirty. That's another thing, man. Um, you know, I'm not sure why they took this approach as far as um, as far as marketing, but uh, it seemed like that they was really really pushing um, the Eastern European fighters more so than the American talent. And uh, we're not gonna make it a race thing, or anything like that. It just so happens that a lot of American boxers are black, um, or let's say north american boxer so we can include mexico because we all know mexico um mexican fighters very very huge um influence on boxing and uh you know their fans are awesome mexican fighters fans and and um the mexican fighters a lot of legends out of mexico so we'll say north american fighters they really um wanted to shine a light for some reason, on the Eastern European fighters, there's nothing wrong with that. Lomachenko's good. Great, excellent fighter. Great amateur background. Um, Golovkin. I mean, we don't even have to... We know his pedigree. Kovalev. You know, he was running a lightweight division. Um, if you notice, there was just a different... A different approach to marketing those guys as opposed to the American fighters. And like I said, just so happens that a lot of them are black. Um, like we got Andre Ward, for instance, you know, it was always, you know, how Larry Merchant did. We all know how he talked, little backhanded compliments here and there. Um, all the way back to when Roy was running things on HBO. Larry Merchant always, you know, talked shit about Roy in a backhanded way, disrespecting him. Um, he got into it with Floyd. And, and of course, you know, let, let's be honest about about Floyd's personality. He does rub people the wrong way, but whatever, man. You're there to do an interview, a post fight interview. Um, you know, no need to come at somebody sideways when you're there in that capacity. Same thing with B Hop. Same thing with Ward. Just backhanded, you know, crap. Never really getting the full credit. You know, always talking bad about the competition, the guys that they approve of for them to face. As a network, yeah, they approve of that. So, you know, but you never got this with Lomachenko or Golovkin. Now, now the Vans Matarosian, yeah, yeah, that that was bad. We all know that was bad. But see, I think that's also just um, just kind of showed you the state that they were in at this point. I mean, all they had was Triple G and Canelo after Kovalev got beat by by Andre Ward. And, um, you know, they, they ran off all of the young and up and coming talent. 
You know, Terrence Crawford left. Well, with, with top rank, they pretty much cleaned him out. Terrence Crawford left. Lomachenko left. Mikey Garcia left. Who else is there to build up? The only person that you really have that is relevant as of now that's, that is actually a draw. Because let's be honest, Kovalev is not a draw. Canelo is a draw. He is a pay-per-view attraction. He's a proven commodity. Kovalev isn't drawing numbers like that, guys. Let's be honest, he's a great fighter. Triple G, while he is also excellent, we see that he needs a dad's partner as well. Um, the only way he did big numbers is with Canelo. That's the only time he did big numbers. So Canelo is the only draw that they really have or had because now they added a boxing business. So um, they didn't have anybody else to carry on the uh, to, to, to pass the torch to to carry on the legacy. They were doomed. They were doomed and they weren't putting on good fights, um, good programming. Um, who else? Uh, Chocolatito got beat. That was another guy. But, you know, the smaller divisions never really get any love anyway. So you can't really build a network on those smaller guys. You need you need guys from the glamour divisions. You need guys at 147, 160, lightweight, uh, light heavyweight, excuse me, heavyweight to carry on your programming. Those are the glamour divisions in boxing. The divisions below that, not so much. So all of those guys, all the American fighters, all the popular American fighters, the majority of them, they're with Showtime, they're on PBC, they're on ESPN. This was bound to happen. And I hate that, you know, it happened because uh like one of my one of my bros said HBO's HBO's uh, programming quality was second to none. And that's true. You know, even to the very end, um, they were at the top of the game, but Showtime was getting closer and closer and closer to where um, they they equaled HBO in the quality of their boxing program and in the quality of their fights as well. You know, Showtime... Um, I believe, what was it, 2015, 2016, man, they was putting on some, man, just fight after fight after fight, good fights, quality fights, just back to back to back. They had all the good fights on on Showtime, and HBO would have like one or two, what they had, they had Kovalev Ward, um, you know, Canelo, Canelo, Cotto, it was always a you know, Canelo fight, or, you know, Cotto, Kodo's kind of like a halfway pay-per-view star. He's another guy. He needs a dance partner to carry a pay-per-view. Um, they just, they just never, they, they weren't consistent with it. And Showtime was consistently putting on good fights. ESPN has stepped their game up too. And now we got, uh, we got, uh, what is it, the Zone, D A Z N, um, Eddie Hearn's uh, streaming service. So far, so good with the AJ Pavetkin. We'll see how that how that goes, but um, you know, Tom will tell with that. But boxing is moving more towards um, streaming and away from the pay per view model. So, I mean, really, right now, Showtime is running it. They got all of the talent. HBO's cupboard is bare. There really was no point for them to continue. I mean, I hate that it had to happen because that's one less. Um, one one less channel that shows boxing but at the same time i think that's a good thing because um without them in the way i think we're going to get to see a lot of fights that wouldn't have been made they're going to be made now because that's a network out of the way and a lot of the times when um certain fights are not being made it's not so much that it's the promoters in the way it's actually the networks it's very hard to put on, not necessarily a cross promotion, but a cross promotion and a cross network fight. Only time that really happens is when it's really, really big. For instance, um, Lennox Lewis versus Mike Tyson or Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao. Those are really the only two times HBO and uh, Showtime work, work together because it was just too big to not do it. Too much money was there to be made. Well, now... With HBO out the way, since they didn't want to do business with Al Heyman, you know, Floyd, they ran off Floyd and Al Heyman. They ran off Bob Arum in top rank. Um, 
Golden Boy was the only one still around, but they really don't have anybody but Canelo and uh and Lemieux, who Canelo is probably gonna beat up in, in December. Now that they're out the way, I bet you we're gonna get to see these fights, these cross promotion fights being made. Al Heyman is already excuse me, Al Heyman and Bob Aram have already showed they're willing to work together. So we're gonna get a lot of good fights, man. It's 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 sad that HBO gotta go, but I think it's gonna it's gonna benefit boxing fans in the end. But yeah, man, that's all I got. Um, more to come. I've got to be more consistent with the videos, guys. I know it's been a long time. But um, yeah, man, HBO, hate to see you go. But hey, man, you had to step up to the plate when it came to the competition. And you guys, y'all just fell off. Bro Hammer, signing out.